Now, listen, you guys, it seems like Lottery Ticket is out there threatening an album, and uh, Summer Walker allegedly has got a collaboration coming up with Nicki Minaj. We're also going to be talking about, um, you know, how Nicki Minaj sat down with Ebro and was talking about she does enjoy making fun of these rap girls, and uh, the internet is out there barely watching Ashanti. Now, these are the things that we're going to be talking about in this video. Hello, tea lovers, and welcome to the tea plug i trust you guys are doing well and i trust you are doing great personally i am doing great you guys i am doing amazing and uh without further ado let us dive straight into today's tea all right so first of all we're going to talk about um you know summer walker and Nicki minaj now previously i did mention in a video that summer walker had retweeted lyrics to Nicki minaj song and uh you know how some fans were receiving it and some fans were not and uh it seems like more is actually happening in as far as that is concerned now for those of you who may have missed that video i'm basically talking about summer walker retweeting and uh, Nicki minaj's lyric that say every summer I come out to walk bees but to me it's just another year all right and uh, obviously uh, she was out there playing with Summer Walker's name and that is why she decided to uh, basically retweet that now it seems like for Summer Walker it did not end there because she decided to take a screenshot of that <laughs> Because she decided, to, I'm sorry, you guys. I'm getting a little bit distracted. She decided to take a screenshot, uh, you know, of those lyrics, and uh, she posted them on her Instagram. Of course, this started a sparking uh, collaboration rumors, as people feel like Summer Walker might actually be on Nicki Minaj's deluxe version album. Uh, you do know that Nicki Minaj did say that there was a deluxe version, and people feel like in that version, that is where a lot of uh, you know features. Uh, and stuff like that so yeah do hop into the comment section you guys and let me know if you would be here for a summer walker collaboration well some buffs are like okay we do not need a summer walker collaboration you know people do not like summer walker they feel like she has been shady towards Nicki Minaj you know I guess in support of the transformer or whatever you want to call it but personally I'm just like if they do make a good song uh, and it is on Nicki Minaj's album of course I'm going to support the song of course I'm going to listen to that song. So yeah, do hop into the comment section, you guys. And uh, let me know what you think about that. Now, the next thing that I'm going to be talking about, you guys, I am going to be talking about Lottery Ticket. Now, Lottery Ticket is out there promising us an album. She uh, reportedly revealed that she will be releasing a new album this year. And, um, you know, the latest interaction that she had with her fans. And, of course, that is being received with mixed feelings. Now, you do know you guys that well since that time she decided to go against the queen of rap and she decided to basically be delusional and think that nikki was a competition things have not been the same <laughs> things have really not been the same for lottery ticket and it's crazy how people want to blame nikki Minaj and say oh my goodness lottery was just standing up for herself and i'm like no 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 she was just trying to look for a moment she was trying to go against nikki Minaj. she was and uh, she had been feeling some type of way about nikki Minaj because she had refused a feature um you know to give it that collaboration on that particular song and of course she was charged and if you look at the way she behaved it looks like it's something that was curated uh, she was looking for an opportunity to do this she found the opportunity to ruin her career and she did now for anyone who advised her otherwise honestly they don't want anything good for this girl because listen if you're a celebrity or if you're at least trying to come up in the industry and you're going around recording people on phone calls you're not only um you know trying to sabotage the person you're recording the phone call for but you're also exposing that you cannot be trusted. And one thing about celebrities, they like their privacy. And nobody's going to look at you the same. Nobody's going to want to mess with you. So because of that, obviously, now she's stuck with collaborating with Z-listers. I did see, um, you know, just before the holidays, an interaction offer and a fans. And, uh, you know, her fans were like, oh, my goodness, could you stop doing those collaborations with, uh, you know, Z-listers? If you're going to be doing a collaboration, could you do a collaboration 
you know, with an A-lister and stuff like that. Because lately her songs with all these collaborations that she's been having, they have not been performing well. So I guess the fans were tired of supporting flop songs. And uh, according to her, she said, oh my goodness, I'm supporting, uh, you know, those Z-listers because I was once a Z-lister. And I looked at her and I was like, the delusion, oh my God, it's still not gone. Because Lato, you were not once a Z-lister. You are still a Z-lister. In my own opinion. I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> and I do feel the reason now she's now constantly working with these Z-listers is because nobody's really paying attention like that with, uh, you know, the A-listers. A-listers don't like being recorded. A-listers don't like sneaky stuff like what she did. Okay? And so, I do see that happening. Now, regarding her album... Um, I do not know if it's a smart idea to be, uh, you know, constantly dropping albums like that. Like her last album sold how many? 10 copies. How many copies did her last album sell? And now she wants to bring a third album. I'm just like, work on yourself. Figure out who you want to be. Or at least figure out who you are trying to be. Who you are trying to copy. And master the craft of copying people very well. Do you understand what I'm saying? Are you going with Renny Richie this time? Are you going with 21 Savage Flow? Peak like proper pick who you want to be before you release another album i mean i'm just saying so let me know you guys in the comment section what you think about lottery threatening to release an album now the next thing that i'm going to be talking about you guys are uh, speaking about albums you guys it looks like the horse probably has an album coming because she did post a a picture sort of um you know on a, a video actually on her Instagram and it was about her being in an egg. So I don't know if it, this is another rebirth. When it comes to the horse, honestly speaking, um, her rebirth, uh, it, it, it's, it's a lot of rebirths that happen around her. And um, we don't really see anything different. We see the same behind shaking. We see the same flow. It's the same everything. If it's not sympathy, it's her talking about how who has good. And um, so I don't understand the point of, you know, coming out of an egg if you're still going to sound the same. <laughs> what are you doing? Eggs are slimy. Come out of that. If you're still going to sound the same, honestly, you guys, what is the point? Okay, so let me know, you guys, will you be waiting for... um? the 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 horses um you know bongo tooth rebirth or not all right now the next thing that i'm going to be talking about you guys i am going to be talking about how Nicki Minaj sat down with Ebro i did the another detailed video and uh, i spoke about that but in this particular one i just want to mention about the part where she spoke about how she likes to you know step on these uh, you know girls necks and how she enjoys making fun of these rap gellies now you guys when you're out here getting praised and calling Nicki Minaj bitter and stuff like that seemingly according to her she's just having a little bit of fun at her workplace okay so she sat down with Ibro and she was like you know what rap is actually my my work it's my industry that's where I work so if I do choose to have a little bit of fun by you know being on this girl's case so be it and I don't blame her because since when did rap become very soft do you understand what I'm saying? Rap has always been competitive. People have always roasted each other. People have, have always dissed each other. And I don't understand this idea that, oh my goodness, let's unite. I feel like the, the entire female rap unity thing is being pushed by people who dislike competition or who are not competent in the profession. And they want to hide behind female rap unity so that they don't get to compete. Now, you guys, if you hear a little bit of, um, you know, talking and stuff like that, it's my my niece was in the background. My niece's baby was in the background. <laughs> and she's talking. Oh my goodness. Matipa. So yeah, basically that's what's up, you guys. Uh, let me know in the comment section what you think about, um, you know, Nicki Minaj saying that she likes making fun of the rap girlies. Because some people are like, oh my goodness, why are you being such a bully? And I'm not, she's not being a bully. Female rap has always been that way. So yeah. Let me know, you guys, what you think about that, um, you know, in the comment section. Now, moving on to the next thing that I'm going to be talking about, you guys. It looks 
like the internet is out there belly, wa- belly washing um Ashanti. Now you guys know that previously um you know Ashanti and Kelly and Nelly alleged that while they were pregnant, it seems like now every little Ashanti Ashanti post people are looking at her belly and passing comments just the way they used to do uh with Halle Bailey. And now people are alleging that she has a baby. So there is a video that um you know was posted off Ashanti performing and people started saying that oh she looks so pregnant she's got a belly bump and stuff like that personally i'm just like if they do have a baby i am happy for them now you do know that there are people who feel like oh well ashanti going back to nelly is giving desperate is giving um you know desperation she couldn't get anyone else but i i I totally don't believe that wasn't ashanti uh with florida at some point you guys like people make it make it seem like nelly is the only one who went out dating and ashanti didn't go out dating ashanti uh if i remember correctly at some point did date florida okay so yeah do hop into the comment section you guys and let me know what you think about that thank you very much you guys for watching and uh thank you very much for making it this far if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and do turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified each and every time that i post i'm sorry you guys i'm a little bit distracted because i'm looking at a very very big bundle of happiness of cuteness called my tipper so until my next one you guys see you